This libretto, uh, which was written by Marie Pappenheim in 1909, uh, is really interesting in terms of trying to understand it from the point of view of the work of Sigmund Freud. Marie Pappenheim, who was the niece of uh, Bertha Pappenheim, who was the actual real name of Freud's famous case of Anna O, whom he treated in the 1880s. It's unclear from the record whether Marie really realized that uh, Anna O and her aunt were the same person. What's very, what's, what's probably more likely that is that in 1905, Freud published his famous case of Dora, a three-month treatment of a hysterical young woman. And it, it, it's, it's surmised that, that this was a case that uh, Marie Pappenheim, these images that are described in this libretto, which is like a dream, are very similar to some of the images described by Freud and Dora, including a lot of these references to female genitals. What Freud did then in the case of Dora was that he, he, he was too direct about his interpretation to his patient. So from a technique point of view, there was a lot, miss, a lot of difficulties in, in the treatment of that case. But from a, an, an understanding the psychology of the mind, the psychology of the way women look at their bodies, there's a lot there we can learn. And there are a lot of images in here, the, the uh, uncertainty of what's real, the uncertainty of what's, what's, uh, what's there, what's not there, the tree trunks, the people, these things all kind of intermix, are kinds of symptoms of what would, have, what would have been called at the time hysteria, where there were all kinds of bodily sensations. And this was a, a condition that was prevalent in women, which had a lot, of, a lot to do with sexual frustrations, with, with sexual conflicts. And as we try to understand even patients today, uh, it's something that we really try to, to keep in mind without being directly, with, without assaulting a patient directly with, with symbolic interpretations.